Biochemical processes in bacterial systems are incredibly complex. Because of this, strict regulation is imperative for proper function. In the case of biocontrol disease, Pseudomonas fluorescence imparts an important system for the specific purpose. This is known as a GAC-S, GAC-A system. Notable target genes include PhilA, HCNA, and APRA. PhilA encodes for 2,4-DAPG, HCNA encodes for hydrogen cyanide, and APRA encodes for phospholipase C. These metabolites, along with others, serve for the biocontrol of soil-borne pathogenic diseases. By virtue of this, bacteria inhabiting the roots of plants establish a unique symbiotic relationship. Nutritional plant exudates feed the bacteria, while the antibiotics and enzymes the bacteria produces protect the plant from disease. In a typical repressive state, the RSM system is employed. RSM A and E are repressor proteins. They block the ribosomal binding site of these target genes, and they prevent the translation of mRNA. It is at this point where regulation is important, and thus the GAC-S, GAC-A system becomes relevant. When an unknown signal is sensed by the N-terminal end of GAC-S, a sensor kinase, a pathway to derepression begins. GAC-S is unorthodox in nature. That is, after autophosphorylation of a histidine residue, the phosphate group is transferred onto an aspartate and then onto a second histidine residue, which is ultimately sent to GAC-A, a response regulator. GAC-A phosphorylated functions to upregulate the transcription of RSM X, Y, and Z. Within the GAC-A, a helix-turn helix DNA binding motif binds to a GAC box, located 180 base pairs upstream of transcriptional start. The products of this are RSMX, RSMY, and RSMZ. These are a series of small regulatory RNA that are important for the inhibition of RSMA and E. As RSMX, Y, and Z concentrations increase, they are able to mop up RSMA and E by virtue of hairpins that are complementary to these repressors. RSMA and E bind to these pockets and are titrated out. Because of this, the ribosomal binding site of target genes are then made available to ribosomes and allow for the translation of products. To summarize, Pseudomonas fluorescence produces metabolites that protect inhabited plants from pathogenic disease. These metabolites include, but are not limited to, 2,4-DAPG, phospholipase C, and HCN. The GAC-S GAC-A system regulates the production of these metabolites. In repression, RSMA and E blocks the ribosomal binding site of target genes, and they prevent the translation of mRNA. In derepression, an unknown signal binds to GAC-S, an unorthodox signal kinase. The phosphate group is transferred from a histidine to an aspartate, and then to a second histidine. The response regulator GAC-A is activated and binds to the GAC box, 180 base pairs upstream of transcriptional start. This upregulates RSMX, Y, and Z transcription. RSMX, Y, and Z binds with hairpins complementary to RSMA and E. RSMA and E titrates out, the ribosomal binding site of target genes are made available, and a translation of enzymes and antibiotics can occur.